Now it is time for Flash It Forward, our way of celebrating people that are making our world a better place. Today we celebrate a young man with a big message. Take a listen to 16-year-old Marquise Hill. I don't know who need to hear this, but I know somebody does. Do not let fear stop you from making this year great. Art, I need you to understand this. In order for you to accomplish your dreams, you're going to have to take a leap of faith. Art, you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to do things that you've never done before, but that's what it takes. All right, do not let fear stop you from making 2021 great. You got this. Let's get it, everybody. The genius way. Let's go. Marquise Hill joining us right now, 16 years old, living in Douglasville, Georgia. I need you to understand, this is a man that has published a book at 15. He has his own clothing line, and you're out there inspiring thousands of kids all over the country and the world. Marquise, I hear from your father that kids will reach out to you for advice, and you do your best to lift their spirits. How did you start doing this? Why? Um... Motivational speaking, it really snuck up on me. Like, my first dream was to be a professional basketball player. But in the summer of eighth grade, um, a situation happened to me with my heart. I was outside playing basketball, and I started feeling some real sharp pains in my heart. So I went inside. I was like, Dad, can we go to the doctor and see what this is? So he says, yeah, we go to the doctor. The doctor runs his scans, runs all of his tests. And he comes back, and he says, I have inflammation in my heart. And he says that I also have a heart murmur. So... At the end of the day, to make a long story short, he said I would have to take six weeks or more off of playing basketball until he could run more tests and make sure I was all healed up. So I'm not going to lie. In that time, I was very devastated. I was very sad. And because basketball, that's what I love to do. That's what I did when I woke up before I went to sleep. But I couldn't let that setback hold me back. So I had to find something to do within those six or more weeks. And for me, that was motivational speaking. I wanted to be that positive voice for the youth to help other kids going through tough times, similar to what I was going through at the time. And I wanted to help other kids, you know, get through their tough times. So I picked up my phone. I started making videos and it's been amazing. I've been getting a lot of kids, you know, that, that I've helped, you know, through some of their tough times. And yeah, I've been who I'm, I'm just so blessed to be able to help others. Love it. Uh, Marquise, uh, it was a pleasure meeting you when I met you. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, you're a bright young man. I uh, wish you well in the future. I'm um, looking at your book, and you know, most books, they have chapters, but your books have days. Can you explain yes, why sir. you decided to go with days rather than chapters? So me and my dad, we always read this motivational, this daily motivational book, and it was like a motivational passage every day like you woke up. So it was like day one, day two, and it was always something that I could look forward to. So when the idea of writing a book came to mind, I was like, I want to mimic that. I want to create something like that for the youth, a daily motivational book for the youth. I know some of the things that the youth go through, self-love, self-confidence, um, being your authentic self, authenticity. And I put together my 28 days of motivation, um, a month's worth of motivation, and I've gotten some amazing responses off of it. Uh, I got a DM the other day that really touched my heart. A kid, he said, me and my mom got evicted three times, and it was your book that helped us through those hard times. It was your book mm -hmm. that inspired me through those hard times to keep going. And that really touched my heart. And I was so thankful that my words and my book could impact somebody in that way. We all have grown up and, you know, idolized people and individuals and, and role models that we looked up to and tried to be like. You are a role model to so many young kids and you give them a lot of motivation. Who were those people uh, that you looked up to growing up? Man, my dad, I would have to say my dad, number one, and my mom as well, they, whenever it came down to a dream or a goal that I had, they would always be the ones to tell me to go for it and to, and to take the leap of faith. You know, don't worry about, you know, the failing. Don't worry about rejection. They would always be the ones to tell me to go for it. So I definitely think that my parents are a big motivation to me to be a motivation to others. This is, uh, this is amazing, man. I just want to congratulate you on uh, this, this far because we know that you're going to be going so much further. Um, and, and as Thank Candace you. said, I, I'm a, you know, everybody know anything about me. I'm all about my kids. And I see and hear you did. You thanked your father. Um, you said he pushed you and helped you get out of your comfort zone and, and, and allowed yeah. you and helped you see what's possible. Talk about that a little bit more. Talk about the, um, the moments that you didn't feel like um, you should do this or the moments you didn't feel like this was something that someone needed and your father and your parents helped push you um, to, to give the world and to give the youth something you know, like this. Um, 
ever since ever since I was young, like I've always, I've always, you know, I've believed in myself. But there's been a lot of times where you know I overthink things. And and I'll, I'll give you one example. It was one time, you know, I was doing this concert when I was younger. And it was gonna be in front of like this whole, this whole like this whole arena of people. It wasn't that huge, but it was like a lot of people. And at that time, I was like, man, I don't know, I don't know if I can do this. But I talked to my dad, me and him had a conversation, and he was like, just go for it. If this is what you want to do, just take the chance. And and you know, ever since then, you know, I've tried my best to to get out of my comfort zone. And when I start going back into that overthinking and 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 worrying about failure and all that, he's always the one to to pull me out of that and to tell me, you got this. So, Marquise, I'm looking at this, and I see you live in Georgia now, but I see you're yes, from sir. Chicago, and I'm curious, yeah. who was your favorite basketball player growing up in Chicago? <laughs> oh, my gosh, D. Rose. Easy. D. Rose. That was, <laughs> like, that was like my favorite basketball player. I, I, wore, I wore D. Rose like all of Park District, all of Park District. Man, we got some Chicago <laughs> people up here, so I can yeah, understand. We're not D. Rose. <laughs> but Mar yeah. D. Rose is up here. Marquise, I like I like the picture behind you, but I wanted to tell you that Adam doesn't wear glasses, so. Dang. Uh, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to tell you that the picture is cool, but Adam does not wear glasses. I do. Dang. I'm just wearing contact. Right. See, Marquise, you know what they're doing. Marquise, can you give me some encouragement to dealing with with somebody like Shaq? Just just be who you are, Mr. Lefko. Don't you. worry about what anybody else got to say. I appreciate that. Uh, we have some merch up here. I got a hoodie. You have genius ability within you. Candace has yes, a sir. shirt. Believe in yourself. Uh, you have the books as well. Where can we get this? Where can we get these as gifts? What do you got for me? Um, you guys can shop at GeniusPilotAcademy.com. I got my book with a signed, I got a signed book with um, the You Have Genius Ability hoodie on my website. And, um, and you can also get my book on Amazon as well. You have Jane Stability within you. Man, there's an entrepreneur with a good You're cause. Marquise, thank you so much, man. Keep doing your thing. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all.